Hi everyone, it's Kronos, and in this video, I would like to be talking about why 7. So, basically, why do people want 7 out of 7 sets? That's because for the abilities. So, basically, uh, let's say you have this kind of hybrid set. You want to get 7 because, first of all, let's change this one. I'll quickly change this to... Let's say you could use. So it's the same sword and shield, right? But this sword and shield. Actually, no, that's a bad example on a soul weapon. Let's say the infrared sword and shield, right? So here you have each sword and shield, they give fire damage, right? So you have. Whoops, wrong one. All of these, they give fire damage boost, and that's what you want. You're looking for elemental and some kind of other boost so if I were to change this weapon into let's say this sort of the Leonid sword and shield see here it has um earth damage and heat gauge charge speed so it would only benefit from the heat gauge charge speed which isn't too important if you can counter well whereas if I were to use okay if, this I sort of counted as like a budget 7. <laughs> this one you will do. But anyway, here as you can see, the abilities aren't perfect. But here, this sword and shield. This gives earth damage 32% and heat gaze charge speed 16%, right? If I were to change this to an infrared sword and shield, fire damage and counter damage plus 30%. I would only benefit from the counter attack damage 30% and um, the fire damage would sort of be useless to me in this situation whereas if I were to use 7 I get the benefit from both of the abilities so earth damage 32 that will benefit me heat gauge charge speed plus 16% that will benefit me as well so right now I'm trying to roll abilities on this sword and shield. So most of, all the time you want to roll for the green abilities that comes with the armor or weapon. So in this case it would be the enraged howl. Here fiendish grip you can go ability change right. You go possible abilities plus one. So this is the best you can get. So you always want to go for the green ability is what I'm trying to say and yeah so I'll just be rolling abilities now and let's see what happens so I have 108 million gold on me and this will take quite a lot of tapping you want to try and make sure you do this on Wednesday as hopefully most of you know that rolling abilities is half price so 25,000 gold for SS gear instead of 50,000 and you want to try and make sure that both both abilities get the green ability so this is nearly good if both of these were fiendish grips it would be perfect but as you can see if I get the reason I'm not keeping this is if I get another fiendish grip I would get 1% more lightning damage 1% more dodge distance and 12% more damage to fatigued enemies so I'll just keep rolling and rolling See, since these are both plus one fiendish grip it's up to plus one it should be easier to perfect roll compared to other weapons like for example this one's a pretty mean weapon it's a plus six so yeah, it's going to be really a lot harder to get plus 6 and plus 6 on both abilities than getting plus 1. Like, you could end up getting plus 3 and plus 4 or something like that, which is also pretty frustrating. If you get the right abilities, but the number isn't enough. I sort of wish there would be a way to, like, for example, let's say the Sylph's weapon... For example, you get fiend. For example, if fiendish grip was plus three, oh yeah, I got it. So that took roughly like five hundred, like 
400,000. But for example, if this was up to plus two, if you could do like spend a certain amount of gold to increase the level of this, that'd be really cool. Now, I've seen many comments in my videos asking, why do you always have seven? I've seen posts on Facebook and stuff. Why seven? Well, that's for the abilities. So lightning damage, so you armor counted, right? So here, if I were to leave this, lightning damage 126%, dodge distance 21%, damage dealt to fatigue enemies plus 252%. Whereas if I were to change this to the fulminator, as you can see, this is lightning damage plus 20 and Maggie charge rate plus 10%. So you get 10% more lightning damage than the ability and damage dealt to fatigue enemies plus 60% is I think quite a bit more useful than Maggie charge rate because it charges pretty fast anyway with the soul sword and shield. So I basically lose out on 10% lightning damage. Yeah, so to maximize the set and get the most of the abil abilities, this is why people go for 7. Well, this was my quick explanation on why 7. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.